are listening. And we also have Tyler in Mastic Beach, Long Island, who asks, what do you think of churches like New Spring Church? I'm not familiar with them. With a popular leader like Perry Riddle, I'm having a difficult time reading this, playing uh, ACDC's Highway to Hell to reach unbeliever, unbelievers. How do you uh, respond to something like that, uh, Paul? That does seem a bit bizarre. I don't know how they're... Uh, yeah. Because the ACDC group seems to be very delighted that they're on a highway to hell when they're singing this song. Um, uh, I, I'm sorry, I, I mispronounced the name. I enlarged... I enlarged Tyler's email. It's Perry Noble. Uh, he plays ACDC's Highway to Hell to reach unbelievers. What is your response to that? Well, he's going to reach unbelievers, but with what? Uh, it's, right. <laughs> it, 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 it's like... The question is whether to reach out to believers or to reach believers. <laughs> you know? I mean, it's like how to make friends and influence people, but are you trying to reach them for the gospel? I mean, the... This whole thing, and I, and I was talking to you in the last show, and it's sad in the modern church we don't identify this. The problem, it doesn't start off with, there's all this external stuff that happens. Perry Noble, I remember seeing this before, but they're symptoms of a greater problem. We've, we've neglected the issues of the Reformation. They would talk for hours and hours, and they would write books and books and books. Over what? Free will, and the idol of free will. Now we just treat it like philosophy, like it doesn't matter anymore. Um, and, and eventually, you see, the thing is, if you see man's will as in some way free, or if you go all the way over to the Pelagians, you're going to say, well, we, in order to get them into the church, we've got to, you know, to, to reach them. What do they like? The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And if they can just make the right decision based on, ooh, we're going to tickle... And that's that's the that's the point. I mean, I think we've either got I don't care about Calvinism, Arminianism, all that, or there's the other side, which is I think okay, there's some very th theologically robust arguments for Calvinism, but I think what we've failed to do is take that and practically apply it to everywhere of life. The Puritans didn't just keep it as the five points. They said, how will this play out in my family's life? How will this play out in how we preach? How, you know, everything, the sovereignty of God. And it wasn't just a kind of a theoretical head knowledge thing, as it seems to become in a lot of places. We almost like lecture through it. But it was very much like Bunyan preached to the heart, that kind of thing, where... The affections, and you realize how much you're... I mean, you can have all the... You can tick all the, the boxes, so to speak. But if we're not humble, we're never going to completely get it. 